Ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking into factoring out the GCF, now notice this is not an equation, this is an expression. But usually what we've done is put those away so we could factor out expressions when they are set equal to 0, right? Basically, we'd have an expression that would be set equal to 0. Basically, what we want to do is look at what these have in common, the greatest common factor. And what you guys can notice is, for these, you can see that both of my terms can be divided by 3. So what you're going to do is you're going to factor out the 3. And when I say factor out the GCF, your GCF, in this case, is equal to 3. So basically what you're doing is you're dividing out a 3. So if you want to write it in there, that's fine. Divide each and every term by 3. So remember what factoring is. Factoring is rewriting an expression as a product, as multiplication. So whenever I divide out, I'm now going to be multiplying by my quotient, or the answer of the division. 3x divided by 3 is just going to be left with x. 18 divided by 3 is equal to a positive 6. And again, a lot of people say, you know, why do you take this? Why are you multiplying by 3? Because that's exactly what factoring is. We want to rewrite this expression as a product. And if I multiply the 3 times the x and the 3 times the 6, do I get this answer back? Yes? Yes. Okay, so now I have factored it. I have rewritten it as an expression.